Hey everyone, it's Game Dev with Drew. And did you know that 57% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel? Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can catch up with all the latest content. I can't believe you guys aren't subscribed already. Now, let's get into the content. Last episode in our 3D series, we created this amazing first person character. And as per request, I will now make a third person character. So in order to do that, we are going to delete this little kinematic body and make a new scene now. In this scene, we'll be making a kinematic body and we will rename this guy to TPS. Inside TPS, we're going to make a mesh instance, which is just gonna be a capsule mesh. We're gonna flip the capsule mesh 90 degrees on its side, like normal. We'll save this scene into tps.scenes inside of our scenes. And we are also going to add in a capsule collider, a collision shape, and we will do a capsule shape and also flip that on its 90 degree axis. One more thing we're going to add, or I guess two more things, we're going to add a spring arm. I'll show you guys how to what to do with that later. We're just going to set our spring length to 7, just so I can show you guys right now. And under our spring arm, we're going to add a camera. So now that we have all that, let's make a new script. So with this script, we're going to do an amazing thing called making variables. So let's make a var for our speed, which is just going to be 8. We're just going to keep it 8. We're now going to make a var for our jump strength, or our jump force, and it's going to be, let's say, 25. Now we're going to do a var for gravity, as we always do, and we're going to make it equivalent to 50. Next, we're going to do our var for velocity, which is also normal, and we're going to do vector 3, which is just an empty vector 3. You could also do vector 3.0, but it's the same thing. We're also going to do var snap vector, which is going to be our vector 3.down. This is so we can snap to the, our ground. Next, we are going to make two on ready vars. One to our spring arm, which is going to be a dollar sign spring arm. And the next one is just going to be out under our for our model. So on ready var uh, cap equals dollar sign mesh instance. Now we'll make our physics process. Uh, and we will now make a new var called dir, which is just direction, and we're going to make it vector 3.0, or we could just do vector 3. We'll now do uh, our dir.x is going to be equivalent to our input.get underscore action underscore strength, and we're going to do move right. Now we're going to subtract this, and we're just going to copy this and make it really easy for us, and we'll do move left. Remember to subtract it. Next, we're going to do dir.z. It's going to be equivalent to input.getActionStrength, move back, and then we're going to do subtract, you guessed it, move forward. Now we can, uh, since we already set everything up, let's just get into the next code. Let's now make our direction rotate according to our camera to, so that it's normalized in general. So we'll do dir equals dir dot rotated, and then we'll do vector three dot up just so we can have that. And we'll also make it part of our spring arm dot rotation dot y. And we'll normalize that to make it between zero and one. Next, we're just going to update our velocity and everything. So we'll do vel.x equals uh, dir times speed. vel.y equals dir times speed. And remember, instead of dir, it's dir.x and dir.z. Next, we're also going to make our falling so we'll just do vel dot y minus equals gravity times delta 
Now we're going to make two variables for like our landing and our jumping. So we're going to make var landed equals is on floor and snap vector equals uh, equals equals vector three empty just so that when we're in the air our, we're going to have no snap because we don't want to snap on the air because that would be bad. Now we'll do var is jumping and we're going to do is on floor and input dot get underscore action sorry is action just pressed jump so if uh, is jumping we are going to make our vel dot y equivalent to our jump force and next, we're going to make our snap fat vector be vector3 dot zero. We'll just clear it out just in case. Now, if landed, or sorry, elif landed, we're just going to make our snap vector vector3 dot down just so we can snap onto the bottom. And finally, with all the amazing code that we made, let's just do underscore we're just gonna we're just gonna do vel equals move and slide with snap we're gonna make our linear velocity velocity which is just vel we're gonna make our snap our snap vector we're gonna make our up direction vector three dot up and finally we're gonna make true just because we want it to not stop on sliding so now if we go into our game, we're gonna see if there's nothing, but if we go into our game, um, so now when we so now when we drag our guy into our game and move it up a little bit and press play, we are going to have a the perfect character that moves forward and backward. Isn't that just dandy? We can jump and stuff like that. Now we're gonna make a new function, uh, just process like typical. And we're going to make our spring arm dot translation equals translation. So this is not going to do anything for us now, but it's just going to be we're going to be within our spring arm. So now what we're going to do is make a new script for our spring arm. So we're going to attach a script and we're just going to press create and we're going to extend spatial. Now we're going to do a var sense, which is typical for our mouse sensitivity. It's going to be equivalent to 0 0.05. And now func underscore ready is going to be normal because we're going to do set underscore top level so we can see our character instead of go through the ground as true. And then we're going to do uh, input dot set underscore mouse underscore mode as input captured so we can capture our mouse next we're going to do unhandled input which is what we did in my grid like video so unhandled input and we're going to do if event is input event mouse motion we're going to do rotation underscore degrees dot x minus equals event dot relative dot y times mouse times sense. So what this is basically saying is uh so what this is basically saying is that when we spin we're just gonna spin around. That's it. Because we're moving on a 2D plane when we move our mouse, but we're moving on a 3D plane regardless. So that's why it's X and Y. Next, we're going to do rotation underscore degrees dot X, and we're going to clamp it. So we're going to clamp rotation degrees between negative 90, so it will be above our character, and 30, so it will be like just below our character. And don't forget to do rotation degrees X. Next, we are going to do our rotation degrees Y. So rotation underscore degrees dot y minus equals 
event dot relative dot x times sense and then we're going to do rotation underscore degrees next we're going to do rotation underscore degrees dot y equals wrap f equals wrap f which is just going to wrap around rotation degrees dot y from 0 to 360 so we can wrap all the way around infinitely now what we need to do is uh, make our margin 0.2 for our spring arm and we will now go into our third person character uh, we'll now go into our third person character and under vel we are going to do if vel dot length is less than 0.2 uh, we're going to make a new var, our look dir equals vector2, vel.z, and vel.y, and, and vel.x. So when we play, we can see that we are looking around and moving all the way, which is perfect. So now I'm going to go through the code to see how it works. So when we go around and look around in game, we can see that our character will move according to our code. So we'll now go through our character code just so we can see how it works. So vardur is a vector three, uh, and we're gonna get our direction.x and our direction.z so we can move left and move right between a, a thing between one and zero. Next, we're going to get our direction dot rotated so we can normalize our rotation according to our character so it doesn't move in different directions in the way we're looking. This is just movement. This is just jumping. You guys know how to do that. And this is just move and slide with snap. And you know how to do that as well. So we're not, also we're getting our spring arm translation and we're moving around with our translation of our mouse. And our look direction is just saying... Um, we have to move our margin if it's not working. We'll now go into our spring arm code. And what this is saying is set as top level so we can stay above everything. And we're also gonna do our mouse mode as captured because we don't wanna keep our mouse in view. And all of this jibber jabber stuff that we did in the FPS controller. And if you want more uh, info on that, there will be a video as shown next. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.